This evening, the mystery Good Samaritan now revealed. This image going viral, a man pulling a driver out of that car in Idaho, teetering on the edge of a cliff. That hero saving the driver and then disappearing. Here's ABC's Mars Gavocampo. Tonight, Idaho police are thanking a Good Samaritan for a remarkable act of bravery caught on camera. 29-year-old Jason Warnock pulling a complete stranger to safety, a 30-foot drop below. Well, I knew the goal was to get him out of there before, you know, the possibility of the rig falling became a reality. Police say 23-year-old Matthew Sitko was driving above Bryden Canyon Road in Lewiston, Idaho, when he veered off. Yeah, she's just hanging by the fence. When Warnock saw the SUV, he climbed the cliff to the vehicle, running 200 yards uphill before convincing the shaken driver to roll down the window. Pulled him out and, you know, gave him a hug. And we talked about God and if I was just the right spot at the right time to give a hand. The driver was treated for minor injuries but was not seriously hurt. And after that rescue, Warnock left the scene immediately, David, so that he wouldn't be late for work. Wouldn't Great guy all around. Hero all around. All right. <laughs> so the picture of a heroic rescue in Lewiston, Idaho, is making headlines around the world. Lewiston Tribune photographer Kara Aberry Koff snapped this photo of a man being pulled to safety as his SUV dangled on the edge of a cliff above Bryden Canyon. But just as quickly as the hero arrived, he vanished. KXY 4's Alyssa Donovan is in Lewiston, where that hero would rather the world not know his name. Nadine, 29-year-old Jason Warnock was driving by when he saw debris in the roadway. He then looked up and saw an SUV hanging off the 30-foot drop. Jason looked up and saw the SUV with someone trapped inside. I seen that guy hanging there, and he was trying to beat the window out or the door open or something and I was like oh man because only like five links were hanging there. Jason knew the car could fall at any minute so he sprang into action. I was just like oh I gotta go do something and no one was doing anything so I ran up Bryden about 200 yards uphill which about killed me. That's how I'm out of shape compared to what I used to be. He tried to break open the window but the vehicle began to shift. I just I got up there and I was like are you all right man? He just shook his head, yeah, and um, I grabbed my, like, snap-on multi-tool out, and it had some jagged edges, you know, on each end of it, and I hit the window three times, but it didn't break, and uh, I, every time I hit it, the, the thing rocked, you know, like it was going to fall off. Sitko was finally able to get the passenger window down. He rolled the window down, and he's like, can I grab my iPod? I was like, uh, yeah, hurry up, grab it, and give me your hand. If this thing goes, I want to have a hold of you so, you know, I can at least snag you out of there. This picture snapped in the moments where 23-year-old Matthew Sitko was pulled from his car to safety. It's a 30-foot drop from where Sitko's car hung down to Bryden Canyon Road. The only thing to break his fall was this chain link fence. Once Sitko was safe, the two sat on the cliff for a few minutes and talked about God. I left before... Uh, before they could figure out who I was. Jason says he didn't want or expect all this attention. He says he'd rather just be fishing or out on the mountains than reading about himself on the internet. 